Eric Ten Hag has reportedly grown frustrated with Jadon and Sancho's lack of commitment to Manchester United and sent him on an intense training camp to get him back focusing on football. There's reports of family issues going on around Sancho's life that have affected his commitment to football and he's deleted social media to focus on family and football. But what's really going on behind the scenes with Sancho and Ten Hag? Is there some frustration there? Is Sancho unhappy at Man United? And could Jadon Sancho be leaving Man United? Talking of players linked to leaving Manchester United, Real Madrid are again interested in Bruno Fernandes. However, this has not come out from the most reliable source. And with Bruno signing a new contract at Manchester United, as a United fan, I'm not worried about Bruno leaving anytime soon. But with his World Cup form, I understand why Real Madrid are interested in Bruno and Lissandra Martinez, but hands off. And what is the latest on the Glazers selling the club? Tier 1 journalist Simon Stone has given an update. Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football. Welcome back to another video rounding up all the news today. We're going to talk about the Sancho stuff, um, his relationship with Ten Hag. Apparently he's gone to the Netherlands. He's working really hard to get back into good form. But Ten Hag's frustrated with Sancho, apparently showing a lack of commitment. What's the issue with Sancho? Is he unhappy at Man United and more? We're going to talk about the Bruno, Bruno leaving. I don't think that's going to happen. So we're going to cover that quite quickly. And then we're going to give you the latest on the new owner situation and a little bit of other updates as well. So smash a like, smash a subscribe and let's get right into the news. I just want to throw out before I get into the video that this is sponsored by the One Football app, and with the World Cup going on, as well as a lot of Man United news, because it looks like we're going to be active in the January transfer market, there's no better time to download the One Football app. It's completely free, link in my bio. And when you download the One Football app, all the news, updates, information, and more is there. Literally on your phone, you've got your English section, your scoreline section, your World Cup section, your general football section. There's a Man United section and more transfers, news, updates, injury news, even stories about Sancho and Tenor's relationship. All there, completely free, link in bio. So let's talk about Jalen Sancho. There's a lot of speculation. He obviously deleted all his Instagram posts and it was confirmed he's taking a break from social media to focus on family and football. Something that someone noticed recently is that he deleted all his tags from Man United and only left the Borussia Dortmund ones up, which is a little bit weird. Is that hinting he's unhappy at United? There's rumours and speculation, rumours and speculation, not facts, about like a poor relationship with Ten Hag. There were rumours that Ten Hag had dropped him post-Chelsea for attitude issues and commitment issues and determination issues and off-field issues and that's why he's not been playing and that he wasn't actually ill but then another side of the story is the reason is he wasn't actually ill but he's struggling mentally you know it's very conflicting reports that haven't been confirmed by a journalist once half of the reports are saying that Sancho is not focused on United he's not in the right headspace and Ten Hag's disciplining him and the other reports are saying that he's not in the right headspace mentally he's got a lot going on and he's struggling I don't like to make assumptions, but if I was going to assume, I'm going to assume it's it's number two that he's struggling mentally and having mental health issues. Um, because I think, you know, if he was having disciplinary issues, we know Ten Hag would be more more than likely just saying, oh, yeah, he's not playing because he's, you know, he's not been professional. That's what Ten Hag did to Garnacho. That's what Ten Hag did to Ronaldo. You know, Ten Hag doesn't protect players. If a player's mucking about and not playing, he will say why. So I think that maybe there's issues going on with Sancho and his family. And I don't like to speculate on the attitude problems or any of that. I don't believe Sancho has an attitude problem. I believe that he's not at his best, but I believe he's probably going through a hard time not getting picked for, for England for the World Cup, lack of confidence, not playing great. You know, it's, I think there's a lot of things going on with Sancho. And we know there is some kind of family issue, which is none of our business. But it was said by reports um, from Gullier Ray that Ten Hag has let Sancho know that he's not satisfied with his performance and has asked him for more commitment. And this is something that I probably expect to be true because, you know, Sancho is playing nowhere near his best. It doesn't mean that Sancho has a bad attitude, but maybe Ten Hag feels that Sancho has been a bit distracted with social media, with issues going on outside of football, and says, you know, I, I'm not satisfied with the way you're playing. I'm not satisfied with you, you in training. I know you can do a lot better. And it's probably asked Sancho for more commitment. And I believe this to be true because Eric Ten Hag has very, very high standards. You know, last year under Ragnick, Rashford was nowhere near his best and was nowhere near as committed as he can be. You know, Ragnick wouldn't even run, not Ragnick, Rashford wouldn't even run for the second ball under Ragnick. And, you know, sometimes when players are unhappy off the pitch, it goes on the pitch. Rashford even said this, like, last season he was quite unhappy off the pitch. Obviously playing with an injury and a lot of issues. So, like, on the pitch he wasn't as good and wasn't in the right zone. And I think that's the same with Sancho. He's obviously unhappy off the pitch. And that's going to escalate on the pitch. And Ten Hag isn't happy with his performances, isn't happy with how he is in training. But he, Ten Hag likes Sancho. He knows he's a top player in Sancho. And like Ten Hag's got, you know, Rashford back to his best. And we've seen improvements in Delo, McTominay and Luke Shaw. I do believe Ten Hag's the man to get Sancho back to his best. And reportedly, 
Jadon Sancho is working very hard to improve his form and is taking advice from Ten Hag according to Samuel Luckhurst. You know, we know Jadon Sancho is out in that training camp because we've seen videos of it. And it was said that Jadon Sancho is working with Dutch coaches recommended by Eric Ten Hag as he uses the World Cup break to keep fit and refocus. We know from very good sources he's deleted social media, he wants to focus on football, he wants to get away from social media during the World Cup. And I don't blame him because people were making loads of jokes and just mean things about him not being picked. And even after the Ronaldo interview, there was a lot of Sancho jokes going around and that probably doesn't help mental health as well as being snubbed by England and he's also you know really taken on the vice of, e of Eric Ten Hag and going to the Netherlands you know doing some entrenched training some tense drills over the next few weeks to focus on getting back to football and although maybe there's been some issues with Sancho and Ten Hag in the past and maybe Sancho mentally is struggling and he's got a lot going on and maybe Sancho hasn't been as focused on football as he should have been because you know his form on the pitch has been nowhere near the Sancho we know what I do like about the story is that he's obviously working and trying hard to get back to his best and he's, he seems now to be committed to getting back to his best and he's taking on the advice of Ten Hag and he's doing this training camp to try and get back to his best. And I think just like Rashford, I believe that Sancho will get back to his best. Um, you know, there are reports of him being unhappy. There are reports of him wanting to leave United. And I think if Sancho doesn't find his form come into the season, maybe he could go. But I do believe that Eric Ten Hag will give Sancho a good year and a half to find his form before he cuts ties because we know there's a good player in there we've seen him at, we've seen it at Borussia Dortmund I do believe that Eric Ten Hag will give Sancho time I think you know how Rashford's got back and Rashford had a poor 18 months it could just be Sancho's poor 18 months in the end you know we know with Eric Ten Hag he does get players back and he does get them playing good as well but maybe the Garnacho competition will help Sancho and look I love Jamie Sancho I know there's a top player there and I know he's the type of guy that now he's got Ten Hag's presence and influence I think he just wants to get back to his best. And I think, you know, the reason he's been struggling isn't because of attitude problems or any of some of the stuff going around. I just think that he's probably not in the best place. The second story I want to talk about is reports that Real Madrid are interested in Bruno Fernandes. And I wouldn't be surprised if Real Madrid were interested in Bruno Fernandes because of World Cup former, because he's a good player. You know, in the space of a few days, we've been told that Real Madrid are interested in Bruno Fernandes and Lissandro Martinez and would like Bruno and Lissandro potentially in the summer. These are reports that are happening. Now, Lissandro just joined United. I don't think he's going to leave anytime soon. Bruno looking very happy. He's probably, he's basically captain because Maguire doesn't start anymore. Just signed a new contract. Key under Eric Ten Hag. I don't think Bruno's going anytime soon. So I'm not worried about this and I would take this, salt, this um, news with a pinch of salt. But Madrid reportedly interested in Sandra Martinez, which we spoke about a few days ago, and now Bruno Fernandes. It was said that Real Madrid are interested in signing Manchester United midfielder Bruno Fernandes and are watching him closely at the World Cup, according to reports in Portugal. Not the best source in the world. And yes, I believe Real Madrid are interested in Bruno. And yes, I believe Real Madrid will probably have Lissandra Martinez on the list of centre-backs they'd like. But do I believe that will leave Manchester United? No. And this news, I don't want to give much attention to. I don't think it will happen, but it's always good to report the news. So, you know, if another report comes out a month down the line, we can go back to this and say, look, remember, there was this report a month ago uh, that this team was interested in Bruno and that. But he signed a new contract, so I don't think he's going anywhere. But people that might be going somewhere and good riddance to them is the Glazers. What is the latest on the new ownership? I don't know if you watched my live stream, but at the end of my live stream, this news came out and it was said by Simon Stone, a tier one journalist, very, very credible journalist who doesn't really get anything wrong. You know, information directly from the club said that new, there could be new Manchester United owners by the end of the Premier League season. And he said as well, if the Glazers um, sell Man United, a deal is likely to be done in spring. So he's saying there's a strong possibility there could be new owners by the end of the season and a deal could happen in spring before spring, likely to be done by spring. So that means, guys, there could be like a new owners for the summer transfer window. Like I think Glazers will be here over Christmas. Um, I still think we'll get Gapo despite the Glazers looking at this other club and I will talk about that in my live stream tomorrow. Another news, but he's saying a deal could be done by spring and that meant if a deal's done by spring, we can plan the summer transfer window with people that hopefully are better than the Glazers that want to invest, that want to spend a load of money like Tom Bohe did at Chelsea. And we could be looking at, you know, Diogo Costa and Goal, who we're linked to, King Min Jae at centre-back, a backup right back if we don't get Frimpong in January. Potentially someone like Enzo Fernandez, De Jong or Bellingham, potentially an Osmin, potentially a Vlahovic as well. Um, we could be looking at a very good summer transfer window. So I really hope we do get new owners, but make sure we get the right new owners, people that want what's best for United. And in terms of outgoings in the summer, I don't think Bruno or Martinez will go anywhere. Potentially Maguire could leave, potentially Fred could leave. Um, maybe De Gea, because there's a few new contracts to be renewed. We know about Bissaka, Tellers, by they're not in the long-term picture. Might be a shock sale or two. I don't know if I could see Sancho leaving, but there are reports he's unhappy. But I think Ten Hag 
we'll give him another year. Remember there was those reports of Rashford leaving, he stayed and now he's playing really well. So not too bothered on that. Talking of the World Cup though, the Man United boys have been fantastic and we will be back live tonight to talk about the Manchester United players, the World Cup, the news and more. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed. We've got a big interesting live show tonight. I'm sorry if I'm a bit quiet but I'm just recording this late at night so I don't want to shout. Um, so I hope you all is okay but I need to get my mic sorted anyway. Thanks for watching. See you next time.